Hate is not the answer, but neither is love. Love is the question, has to be. The more you love one thing, the more you loathe the opposite. If you love equality, you hate inequality. Don't mince words about it. This applies not just to love and hate, but all extremes, open-mindedness versus closed-mindedness, tolerance versus intolerance, caring versus not caring, the serenity to accept things and the courage to try to change things. The question isn't which in these pairings is always good, but when to do which. That's why we quest for the wisdom to know the difference. The serenity prayer nails it. Not a prayer, but a quest for better skills at knowing which situations call for which responses. Wisdom is the questing, wanting to learn so you know better and better the differences that make a difference. The opposite of wisdom is dumb, claiming to already know. I've already got complete wisdom. Courage is always good. Serenity is always bad, or whatever. Proud commitment to some one-sided principle doesn't free you from moral dilemmas. It stunts your growth toward wisdom. Ever notice how readily fundamentalists become hypocrites? It's no coincidence. Commitment to one-sided moral principles requires hypocrisy, since you'll still use mixed strategies. Everybody does. Fundamentalism encourages hypocrisy, too. Wearing your one-sided principle as a badge of honor, you think you can do no wrong, and then you do lots of it, employing purist talk to rationalize mixed strategy walk. I do so live by love is the answer. I wasn't hating those jerks. I was just lovingly suppressing the forces of evil. That's totally different. We don't just have to get along with each other. We have to get along with bedrock reality, and the bedrock where the living needed is not moral principles but moral dilemmas. You've got slider controls. You decide how much to like this or hate that, where to care and not care, where to try and not try. These bedrock dilemmas rock back and forth, tipping us toward loving some things and hating others, being open to some things, close to others, being tolerant of some things, intolerant of others, caring about some things and not others, accepting some things, not accepting others. You can pretend you've escaped these choices with some high-minded trump card principle. You haven't. You can't. Don't get distracted by the various flavors of fundamentalism, or we just become battling half-wits, each arguing for different pure principles we can't, won't, and shouldn't live up to. Fundamentalism isn't just religious or political. If you believe love is the answer, you're a fundamentalist too, lost to the quest for wisdom because you mistakenly think you've already found it.